part of the lesson, we're going to talk about how to draw solution curves when we have a slope field generated for us. This is one of the things on the AP exam that sometimes comes up on the free response section. After having plotted a slope field of about five, six points, they might ask you to draw in a solution curve through some initial point. A solution curve of a differential equation of the form y prime is equal to a function of x and y is just a curve whose tangent line at each point in the coordinate plane has that particular slope, that y prime is equal to f of x comma y. So let's generate a slope field here, and I need an initial condition, which I'm going to call point A. So kind of visualize this as ocean currents or currents within a river and that we plopped a little toy boat here at point A, and the slope field is gonna push the boat in a particular direction. And there's only one path that it can possibly go on given that initial condition, okay? And so here's what this one is gonna look like, this solution curve. And we're gonna talk about exactly what you should do whenever you go to graph one of these things. So to plot a, or to sketch a solution curve with this initial condition, a, B, you start at that point, of course, and we're going to move towards the right. When we move towards the right, follow the direction of all of those nearby segments, trying to keep your graph parallel to those nearby seg segments, okay? You don't just veer off towards the right-hand side or the left-hand side, because these things are trying to keep you in check. And then you want to repeat that going backwards in the other direction towards the left, right? Just do the exact same thing. Keep your graph parallel to those nearby segments, and it's going to push your graph in a particular direction. So let's give that a try, and this is where that worksheet's going to come in. Sketch a slope field for y prime is equal to 2x plus y. Make a sketch of the solution curve that passes through the point 1, 1. So if you have a printout of that slope field, and then for some reason, do I have this wrong one up? I do. Yeah, I already had the answer to that. Okay, so this is what your uh, your worksheet should look like. We have our differential equation right up here, and then we have just dot grid that we're going to, at a couple of different points in here, plot a slope field. Okay, so the way that I'm going to do is I'm going to write down a point, pick a point in the coordinate plane, and then I'm going to compute its slope using y prime is equal to, I think it was 2x plus y. All right, so let's just pick a point. Let's pick, let's say, the origin right here. So this is 0 comma 0. So y prime, the slope at that particular point is 2 times 0, which is 0 plus 0, it's equal to 0. At that point, we should have it's a small little horizontal segment, a slope of zero. Let's do another one. How about at, um, these are going up by ones, right? Yeah. Okay, so one comma zero. Y prime is equal to two times one plus zero. That's a slope of two. So on this point, I'm just going to go up to over... Nope, that's not what I meant to do. So up to over one, just hold it in there. Okay, so here's what that line should look like. We want a nice little line there, and I'll just erase the rest of it. I just want a slope of was two at that particular point, right? Try a couple more of these. Um, how about we go one comma one? Okay, y prime is equal to two times one. Plus 1 gives me 3 this time. So at this point, I'm just going to visualize the slope of 3, up 3 over 1, and then draw in a tiny little segment to represent that. And notice that it does look visually just a little bit steeper than the one down below. It's just one bigger. How about 0, 1? y prime is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1 is just a slope of 1 at that point. A little less steep than the ones surrounding it, so this slope should go like right there. So just make a tiny little segment, erase the rest of it. All right, so I'm going to have you pause the video 
and see if you can generate a few more of those points, maybe something over here in the second and the third quadrant, just to get some practice plotting a slope field. And then unpause the video when you're done. All right, when you're done, your slope field should look like da -da -da -da, this thing that's on the back side. Just flip your page over. The answers were there all along. I mean, this is assuming that you double-sided yours, or maybe it's on two separate pieces of paper, like whatever. All right, so our question was asking us to plot, make a sketch of the solution curve that goes through the point 1, 1. So I'm going to put a dot right here at 1, 1. Right, And I'm going to start here at this initial condition, and I'm going to move towards the left, and I'm going to try to keep this thing parallel to these segments right there. And now I'm going to repeat that same exact process, and notice that it's supposed to level out someplace over here. Where it actually does that, I would actually need to plot some little points, but I can get a rough sketch, a rough idea of what's going to happen here. And then whenever it goes off to the left, looks like it's got some sort of asymptote or something on that side of it. All right, and that's going to do it for being able to graph a solution curve through a slope field. Now, I'm going to show you some technology things that we can do with this, especially if you have downloaded the TI app, the Inspire app, because it will do all of this for us. It's pretty sweet. So I'm just going to start a new one here. And uh, let's do a graph. Okay, now, right now it's just in, in, in function notation. But we're going to choose the little tool here. And let's see, uh, graph entry edit. I'm going to choose that one. And then down here at the bottom, you can see differential equation. So I'm going to choose that one. And this is set up to be y1 prime is equal to, and then we type in our differential equation. And the one that we had, the one that we were working with was 2x plus y. And in order to do the y, you hold in the x, choose the y, but you need to put y1 at the end of it. Okay, so if I hit enter, bam, it generates a slope field just like we had before there, right? All right, and now another cool feature is that you can put in an initial condition just right down here below. See, it says x sub 0, y 1 sub 0. We just tap on that, and we had the point 1, arrow over, 1, hit enter, and there's our solution curve. That's what it was supposed to look like. Now, the Another really cool feature of this is that you can see that dot right there at 1 comma 1. You can grab a hold of it and you can move it around and see some different solution solutions to this differential equation depending on the initial condition. All right, so let's kind of experiment with some more of these things. Let's go back to the, the actual lesson and see if there's more of them that we could type in. Like, for example... This one here, the one that made circles, let's actually look at what x squared plus y squared would have looked like. So let's clear this thing out. So we want an x squared plus y1 squared and hit enter on that one. And you can see it definitely does not look like the slope field that was generated for us, okay? If you thought it was any of the other ones, you could try those out as well, right? How about, oh, let's go ahead and look at the one that looks like a circle. Anyway, that would be pretty fun. It was negative x over y. So right here, I'm just tapping on the little hamburger menu button, and then I can go back, tap on that menu bar, and it was a negative x over, hold in the little x, hold in the little x, there we go, y1, hit enter, and there's our circular one, and then here's our point. It's having a little bit of trouble, but you can visualize at least some semicircles that are going through here. Okay. And any of these other ones, let's go ahead and do the one that we were talking about here on C, which was y prime is equal to 0.5x squared.
be able to visualize that as the very last one that we're going to do. And then you can play with it as much as you want to, assuming you downloaded it. Let's see, what was it? 0.5 x squared, enter. And there indeed is the equation that looks like a cubic equation. All right, that's going to wrap up the first objective on being able to make a slope field as a way to visualize what a solution curve is going to look like, either making each point in, uh, making a small little segment in the coordinate plane according to the differential equation, which gives us a slope, or even sketching a particular solution curve through a slope field. In the next lesson, which is exclusively for BC, we're going to talk about how to approximate those solutions using Euler's method.